Time now for your forewarn weather with Thomas Keyboy. Good morning, Utah. Happy Wednesday. We're halfway through the work week. Our storm system, it's pulling away, but we do have some residual moisture and with a northwesterly flow, we've actually seen some lake enhancement out there this morning. And because of that, along the Wasatch Front, we've actually seen a few spotty showers. Now, activity is beginning to wane a little bit, but if you're east of I-15 at this point, especially in Salt Lake and Utah counties, you're likely going to run into some wet streets, and once you get above 8,000 feet, we're seeing a little bit of snow out there this morning. But as we go throughout the next several hours, the chance of wet weather will become less and less, as I mentioned, as our storm system pulls away, and we'll transition to what the rest of the Beehive State is seeing with those dry conditions out there. So outside of the Wasatch Front and portions of the Wasatch Back, it's actually a pretty nice start to the morning, albeit a chilly one. We'll talk about temperatures in just a moment. Here's a look at the bigger picture with the water vapor imagery showing that upper level low pressure now working its way over towards Colorado. Our winds were out of the northwest, and that's why we've seen that lake enhancement. But as we go through today, we'll see more of that northerly flow. The moisture will begin to move away. High pressure will move in, and that's going to set the table for some beautiful weather for the second half of the work week. Now let's go ahead and begin the future cast. I'll start this at 7 o'clock this morning, and typically forecast models have a very hard time dealing with lake enhancement. So I think even around 7 to 9 o'clock this morning, we'll hold on to at least a slight chance in the northern half of the state with that best chance really being along the Wasatch Front. By this afternoon, that moisture starts to move away to the east as that system pulls away. Then we'll be looking at mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies across the beehive state with temperatures well below our seasonal averages, but a little bit warmer than the last few days. Then for our Thursday and Friday with high pressure firmly in control, really not a lot to see. I'm going to fast forward this all the way into Friday afternoon and you'll see both Thursday and Friday, mostly sunny skies while we'll get mostly clear skies at night. Now I mentioned that in our valleys, we're seeing rain, but above 8,000 feet, we're seeing a little bit of snow. The current view from Snowbird you can actually tell that the snow is actively falling. You absolutely love to see it out there this morning. Can't wait to see what the mountains look like out there this morning in the Wasatch. Meanwhile, down in St. George, it's as calm as you would like. You're not gonna find any issues as you head off to work or school down in St. George, but you might even want the sweater as you're currently sitting at 53 degrees, but I would classify that as comfortable. Well, Cedar City, we're currently waking up to a temperature of 38. It's 49 degrees in Provo, 50 degrees in Salt Lake, and we're currently sitting at 49 degrees in Logan. Now, for portions of southwestern Utah and through the San Pete Valley in central Utah, we do have a freeze warning that's currently in place through 9 o'clock because over the next hour or so before we get to sunrise, we could see some spots see those temperatures drop as low as 28 degrees. So if you're waking up in portions of Beaver County, Iron County, and in the San Pete Valley, you definitely might want the jacket as you head out the door this morning. When it comes to our afternoon highs today, well below our seasonal averages, but warmer than what we saw on Monday and Tuesday with northern Utah mainly checking in in the 50s and 60s. While down in southern Utah, I think it's going to be an absolutely beautiful day under mostly sunny skies with daytime highs generally in the 60s and 70s. We'll go ahead and zoom things in here for a better perspective, and this will show you your daytime high today and your overnight low tonight. Along the Wasatch front, it's low 60s, while in the Wasatch back, highs ranging anywhere from 55 in Park City to 63 in Heber. And by tonight in the Heber Valley, we could drop close to freezing tonight at 32 degrees. While in the Uinta Basin today, daytime highs generally low to mid 60s. In central Utah, daytime highs ranging anywhere from 59 in Nephi to 57 in Fairview to 72 degrees in Green River and Castledale, while Oak City tops out in the low 60s. Then down in southern Utah should be an absolutely beautiful day if you want to go check out the hoodoos at Bryce Canyon with the daytime high of 60. Zion National Park probably pretty nice with the daytime high in the upper 70s like St. George at 79. And Monticello will see a daytime high check in at 62. Here's the high temperature trend in Salt Lake City over the next few days where we're going to be well below average once again today. Then with that warming trend with high pressure in place, we should be very close to our seasonal averages by Friday. Then Saturday and Sunday, we're still sticking with the sunshine. By that point, though, Daytime highs will likely be a little bit above our seasonal averages, which should be absolutely beautiful. And St. George will be in the upper 70s for today, then daytime highs well into the 80s for the rest of the week into and through this upcoming weekend, with overnight lows holding steady in the 50s. Then along the Wasatch front, we have that slight chance early clearing this afternoon with a high in the 60s today, and then it's mid 40s tonight, then daytime highs in the upper 60s for Thursday, low 70s on Friday, low 70s on Friday, then daytime highs mainly in the mid to upper 70s from the weekend into early next week.